Hello. In this video, I want to show you our new quadrant migration tool. This tool makes it very easy for you to migrate between quadrant instances, regardless where these instances are running. It could be different cloud providers, different regions, and you can also migrate data easily from a quadrant test instance you run on some virtual machine, for example, to quadrant cloud. The nice thing about this tool is also that it's streaming data during the migration in batches. That means you don't have to fill around with snapshots. The migration can be stopped and then continued at any point in time. And you can also migrate data while another data is still being inserted. It is also possible with this approach to have a different configuration of your collection on the target than on the source collection. And that, for example, enables you to migrate data from a single node quadrant database um, to a multi-node quadrant database cluster with replication with ease. To showcase this, I prepared two database clusters, one both running in quadrant cloud, one running on GCP Europe West 3, and one running on AWS Europe West 1. If we have a look at the databases themselves, the source database has a benchmark collection here with a few points, sharding set up, and the target database doesn't have this collection yet. You can find the migration tool open source on GitHub, and the easiest way to run this is just by running the container image that provides this tool. Um, there is usage information and examples directly in the readme here. So let's go ahead and actually run this. And I already prepared the command here and it's simple and easy to use. I'm passing the source API key and the target database API key as environment variables here. And then the URL of my source database and the collection I want to benchmark is passed as well as the URL of the target database and in which um, target collection name I want to pass it into. The target collection can exist. If it doesn't exist, I can also let the migration tool directly create it. And the migration tool then makes sure that the configuration is exactly as it's at the source, including all payload indices. If I want to have a different configuration in my target collection, I would need to create it beforehand. So let's run this. And the date migration tool is going to do a couple checks. Uh, and then it's starting the migration in a streaming way. And you can also see the progress here. If you now cancel this migration for whatever reason and just run this again, you can also see that the amount of vectors that still need to be migrated is smaller, so it will just continue where it left off. If you don't want to do this and you want to do the migration fresh from scratch, there is also a restart migration flag available with the tool. So, happy migrating!